Have you ever wondered how clicks, Peterboard, and all of these insanely fast editors literally have zero input delay? There are a bunch of tools which all of them have been using since years, which is even proven. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Before the video starts, here's a quick comparison of the low end 1v1 map and the click zero delay map, and you can see how much more FPS you actually get on the low end 1v1 map. The map code is right now on screen, and now let's begin with the video. And in the first place now, guys, I'm going to show you one of the best tweaks to reduce your input delay on keyboard, and all you guys can do is go first of all into a Windows search bar and type in a registry until you can right click onto it and run it as an administrator. And once you're in here now guys, you're going to paste in exactly the following link which is in the video description. It's basically a line here directly for your registry, just simply put it in there and press enter. Then you should find here a parameter section guys and in here now we have a bunch of values. And what we want to focus on guys is this one here, keyboard data queue size. This one you're going to double click on and usually the standard value for a ton of you is going to be around 256. Keep in mind that this process is super hardware demanding and anything below 100 is where you really notice a difference. So therefore, what I would recommend you is try to go as low as possible, but do it step by step to see if you run into any issues. For me, it was, I first of all started with 90, then I went down to something like 75, and finally I figured out 50 works the best on my specific system. But also keep in mind, I have a pretty good gaming PC, so therefore what I would recommend you is go down in like five to 10 steps and really try it out. Again, this is pretty hardware demanding, but the lower you can go beneath 100, the less delay you're actually going to have on your keyboard so therefore it's worth it to try this out. So guys and next up once we are here in our registry editor you can already see that I have a following path here open and I want you to go basically here first of all under H key local machine then you're gonna go into system control then scroll down a little bit more until you can actually find session manager. In here we're going to scroll down until we can find memory management and there we have now prefetch parameters. We're going to click onto it so it's basically selected and in here now we have enable prefetch. We're going to double click onto it and in here now you're going to make sure to put your standard value data of 3 all the way down to 0 and keep it on hexadecimal. That way we can disable the prefetch and therefore have a way better system responsiveness. In this next step now guys we're gonna go to a windows search bar and type in the cmd until we can see the command prop, right click onto it and run it as administrator. And once we're now in here you're going to make sure to paste in as well the following comment which you can find from the video description. It's basically a dism comment and you're just gonna press enter in here and it's going to check your whole entire pc if there's any issues or corrupted files or any outdated drivers which could somehow slow down your PC and basically just simply make your windows run a lot worse for games. As you can see guys, no components or corruption detected, the operation completed successfully. So what we can basically do now is close the CMD and continue with the next step. In this next step now guys, what we want to do is basically go into a windows search bar again and type in that troubleshoot settings. Open it up and once it loaded up, you want to make sure to click on the additional troubleshooters. Just wait for it again to load a little bit and in here now, we're going to scroll down until we can actually find our keyboard. And if you should have any issues with our keyboard on our PC, we can actually run the troubleshooter in here and just simply make sure to let it run in the background. You can see troubleshooting has completed, no changes or updates were necessary, so therefore we can close it. But it's always a good thing to do this once in a while, guys, just to make sure that there are no corrupted files or anything which could give us more input delay. Since everything is fine, we can close it again and continue. In this next step now, guys, we're gonna go again to a Windows search bar and type in the sticky keys until we can find turn off sticky keys when two keys are pressed. We're going to open this up, guys, and sticky keys is a very old process which has been in Windows basically since years guys but you definitely want to make sure that it's turned off because sticky keys is basically a shortcut when you're pressing multiple keys at the same time and it gives you additional latency especially in games like Fortnite. Web precision and responsiveness of your keyboard is super important. For most people this one here is actually going to be enabled. You maybe know it from pressing shift too much on Minecraft when you like want to crouch and it comes up then. That was super annoying back then actually just as I remembered. So therefore you definitely want to make sure that this one is completely turned off. You by the way also going to do the same thing with filter keys. This is not the same as the tool guys by the way. Just simply make sure that all of these here are fully disabled actually on your keyboard section. You can see it right now guys the keyboard settings. We are basically making sure to disable completely everything under the category keyboard. Then we're gonna go again to Windows search bar. Just simply type in keyboard to open up the control panel. And in here now guys under speed you're gonna make sure to put your repeat delay and repeat rate all the way to the right side. And now we can spam our keys super fast which is again beneficial for Fortnite. Go under apply and press ok and we're good to go. And if you guys ever wondered how I get solo ping in Fortnite, it's actually because of the GR Booster. You can try this out for absolutely free with the link in the description. It's also the tool which Mero, the FNCS winner is using. And the GR Booster is basically improving your ping by finding the best DNS server in your near. So therefore just simply launch it, select Fortnite and you can see guys we already have improved 
improvement of 138%. My ping is insanely low, like even for rank 10 milliseconds is super low guys, which means in creative I would get probably zero ping right now. And you can even see the connection between your PC and your router and your router and the actual game server. And what's the best about it guys is adaptive intelligent routing. This means that it's actively in the background always going to look for the best DNS server, making sure that you have the least amount of ping. So therefore check it out with the link in the description guys, it's amazing. And in this next step now guys, we're going to take a look at the Marxy Windows mouse acceleration fix because for whatever reason your mouse actually isn't so precise especially not on Windows 10 and this is exactly why Mark C created this acceleration fix which is going to give you direct and natural input for your mouse guys this is super important for esports you can by the way find this on my official website with the link in the description guys and once you're on here now you're going to get the latest version you can actually use it we gotta right click onto our desktop and go under display setting and in here now guys you can see scale and layout and it's super important on how much percent you actually have it. For me, I just kept it on the standard one, which is 100%, but some people have it as well, 125, 150, 175. So therefore, just remember on how much you have it. Then we can close it and enter actually the file which we just got. Click under Windows 10 fixes because this is probably what most of you guys are on anyways. And then you can see in here now different versions for 100% scaling, 125, 150, 175, and all of that. And since I'm running actually 100%, what you want to do is basically search for the one which you need, double click onto it, and then it's going to ask you if you want to add the following registry, click under yes, and then under OK, and you're already good to go. If you want to revert it, you can always click on the default one and re-enable it. And in this next step now, guys, we're going to take a look at Malware Bytes. This is a tool which actually clicks, TV and many more pros have been using since years, and it's amazing with finding malware on your PC, which could somehow slow it down and give you more additional latency. You can find it again on my official website guys and once you get it on your pc you can see a now scanner just simply click under scan and let it basically scan your whole entire system for any corrupted files like maybe corrupted registry entries or missing files also issues with your startup items updates and all of that stuff so therefore just simply let it scan real quick in the background once in a while guys you can see it already scanned over 200,000 items there were no interrupted files on my pc so therefore i'm going to click under next and then we're already good to go and we can close the tool guys and in this next step now guys i would highly recommend you to always check once in a while if you guys are running the latest software for your mouse and keyboard and especially on your mouse it's super important under performance that you actually set it to the highest polling rate possible other than that you have additional delay for my Razer Def Adder V3 Pro it's actually right now a thousand hertz polling rate which is the highest and the best so therefore always make sure that it's actually set to the highest one I see way too many people will maybe play on 500 or 125 guys and you can already notice it if you put it yourself from something like a thousand to 125 that the cursor feels a lot slower so therefore always leave it on the highest one guys so that it's super precise so guys and after you played all of these steps here correctly your game should feel buttery smooth and you should have zero input delay here in fortnite i mean just take a look at this here guys the game is super responsive and therefore yeah everything is exactly as it should be don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys and also make sure to check out the discord.gg slash if you want some more content or get notifications for new videos and also if you have tech questions you can always ask there so therefore definitely make sure that you check it out